I'm going to show you guys how to play both Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis games in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So basically what you're going to do is right here, if you just hit the back button, you're going to go into the, the, the main part right here and you go to quick menu and then you come down here to core options and then you come down to video and in video, there's going to be this part right here. And this is how you get it in ultra widescreen. The sweet spot for me has been between eight and 12. So let me go up to 12 and it should be reset to normal. So as you guys can see, everything is running fine. Not every single game is going to run well for you. So you need to keep this in mind, okay? But with that said, most of the games is, aren't gonna be like game breaking. You know what I mean? So again, start menu select. And if I come down here to, and I say, let's go to two, it's gonna like kinda ultra wide it, but not too much as you can see right here. And if we go back, we go to four, come back, it's gonna be a little wider. Come back, go to six, it's gonna be a little wider. Go back, eight, it's gonna be a little wider. And then 12, it's gonna be even wider. So as you can see, everything is whatever, working fine for this game. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with the super, with the, whoa, 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 whoa I probably should not be doing this with um, this video. Forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it just as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Let's go to Congo's Caper. This is one of my like favorite, like under the radar type games. Fast forward everything for you. So if we go here, as you guys can see, this one's a little broken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back out, go to my core options. Crop over scan. We're going to go to eight and see if that does no, it doesn't do anything. So go to 12. Yeah, this game's not working very well. All right, so maybe we just need to, yeah, this game's not working very well. So you do have to keep this in mind, guys. Not every single game is going to work work perfectly for you. Um, try Booker Man and see if this one does well in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Let's forward everything for you. This is actually a super fun game, to be honest. All right, so we go to core options, eight pixels, go to 12, see what this does. All right, so this one's not running very well either, to be honest. All right, let's try Contra to see if this works. Super Nintendo emulator that I was using is called Beast Nest HD. If you launch up RetroArch, let me show you how to do this really quickly. If you go into RetroArch, thank God my controller is still on, and you go down to Online Updater. Uh, so you just hit Update Installed Cores, and then you'll have your core. All right, so you got down here, and we'll go down to Super Nintendo so I can show. Or hold on, I, I might have passed it. All right, so we come down to Super Nintendo so I can show you guys the emulator that I'm using. All right, so we go to NES, SNES. So we got Beast Nest HD, this one right here. So the Nintendo Super Nintendo Beast Nest HD is the one that I was using for the, for the Super Nintendo. And then for the Sega Genesis, or hold on, it might be in G. So if we go to, no, we gotta go down to S. I'll show you guys the emulator that I'm using. It's just the, right, so we go to Sega Genesis Plus GX. This is the one that I'm using. The GX, the Genesis Plus GX wide. So those are the two emulators that I'm using. And then you just go into the settings like I showed you with the game. Now keep in mind, you are going to need a good computer in order to do this. This takes a lot of power. So you can't expect to, be be doing this kind of stuff off of a a cheaper like retro emulation box some of them are capable of doing this i literally uploaded a video the other day of this little little stick it's a little 4k stick keep in mind i did have to dumb down the resolution but 
it was still pretty cool to be able to play games on my TV, which that's actually literally a recording of the other day's video when I was testing this out. Um, but just keep that in mind. It does, it does take a lot of power. So if you get one of these little emulation consoles and you update all of your cores because 90% of them are using RetroArch, if you can connect that to the internet, or if you have a laptop or a computer, you can take the SD out of those Put them on your computer and then you can update everything from your computer put the sd card back into this little emulation console and there you go now you have an emulation console that has the 16 by 9 aspect ratio i genuinely want to start playing retro games the the older emulation style videos are doing extremely well and that makes me so happy because these are the types of games that i personally enjoy these are the types of games that i grew up with myself and these are the types of games that bring back nostalgia for me the super nintendo the sega genesis the normal nintendo and then the game boy advance those are my four favorite consoles game boy advance is kind of a hard one for me to say whether or not i prefer that one over the sega genesis and the nintendo super nintendo is hands down my favorite console of all time game boy advance is really cool for me because it's nostalgia on two different levels you have the games that you grew up with playing on your game boy advance but the cool thing about game boy advance is that there was so many shows and cartoons that also got games on the Game Boy Advance. So now you also have the nostalgia of the shows and cartoons that you also grew up with. So like there's I just so that's why I like Game Boy and it's it's a little bit hard for me to to choose that between the Sega Genesis, but I know for a fact that the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, then the Nintendo to be honest, they're all good. Super Nintendo is definitely my favorite because it's the one I had and the one I grew up with and the one, you know, that's my favorite. But anyways, I'm going to get way off topic here. Let me know some games that you guys would like me to play on the channel. Um, I'll even be using the 16 by 9 thing. I genuinely like it. I know it doesn't work for every single game, but um, there are some Mode 7 games that are dedicated for this ultra wide. Now, this Beast Nest HD emulator also has the mode seven and those are not ai generated sides like you saw me doing in this video the purpose of this video was to to show you that any game can be created in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio a 21 by 9 aspect ratio and even a 32 by 9 aspect ratio i no longer have my samsung odyssey i gave that to my brother-in-law for christmas when i got these two new 4k 240 hertz monitors so I do not have that anymore. Um, but you can also play these games in 32 by 9, which is insane, dude. And this is why I say I love AI. It's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. Hopefully this helps you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know that game, by the way. Peace.